Watches these days are super popular, serving both practical and style purposes. Totally. They add a cool touch to any outfit and come in handy. But not everyone can drop mad cash on those fancy high-end ones, you know? True that. Many folks opt for more affordable options instead. But here's the deal. Just because a watch is cheaper doesn't mean it's junky. <laughs> no doubt. There are plenty of affordable watches that are still solid, reliable, and look good. Good to hear. I don't want to sacrifice quality just to save some dough. Exactly. But we also got to be careful because there's a lot of cheap watches out there that won't last long and can fall apart. Ah, gotcha. So we've got to find a balance between affordability and quality when picking a watch. Totally. Being able to tell apart the well-made, affordable ones from the crummy, short-lived ones is quite crucial. Makes sense. Knowing how to spot a cheaper watch can save us from making regrettable purchases. Absolutely. By considering things like the materials used and craftsmanship, we can make a smarter choice. But before diving deeper into the ways on how to spot a cheap watch, we want to welcome you to another episode of The Steady Ticker. Do you have a soft spot for watches? Subscribe now to the Steady Ticker and click the notification bell to keep posted on the latest news on different luxury watch brands and its industry. We create contents on trivias, intricacies, history, and anything under the weather about luxury watch brands and their models. Well, in this video, we're going to explore how to spot a cheap watch and identify the key characteristics that distinguish them from more expensive, high-quality watches. All right, dude, so let's dive into the world of spotting cheap watches. You mentioned something about checking out the movement. Can you, like, break it down for us a little? Absolutely, my man. So the movement of a watch tells you a lot about its quality and price. Like, if you spot a quartz movement, chances are it's on the cheaper side, especially if it's under 200 bucks. Quartz watches run on batteries, and you can spot them by that one second ticking. Ah, oh, gotcha. So, if I come across a watch with a quartz movement, does that automatically mean that it's a cheapo? Not necessarily, bro. It's a bit more nuanced. You see, the quality of quartz movements can vary. It's all about checking out the brands that provide info about the specific type of quartz movement they use. If they're being vague about it, it could be some generic Chinese-made movement that won't stand the test of time. Makes sense. Gotta watch out for those sneaky generic movements. Any other telltale signs when it comes to quartz? Absolutely, dude. Quartz movements often have this reputation for being low quality and noisy as heck. They're like the budget-friendly option for brands since they're super cheap when bought in bulk. Oh, and some cheap watches with quartz movements might have that annoying ticking sound that can drive you up the wall. Ugh, that ticking sound can be a deal breaker for sure. Now, wait, what about the mechanical movements, my friend? Ah, mechanical movements. That's where real watch enthusiasts get all giddy. Instead of relying on batteries, mechanical watches work with a wound spring to keep time. They're way more intricate to make, which means they tend to be pricier. But the real beauty lies in the smooth, sweeping second-hand motion. It's like watching a tiny, precision-engineered dance. Dude, that sounds pretty darn cool. But are there any downsides to rocking a mechanical watch? Well, my man, here's the thing. Mechanical movements require some regular winding to keep them going. They need a little TLC from time to time. And since they're more delicate and intricate, they might not be the best choice for some rough-and-tumble adventurers. In those cases, a sturdy quartz watch might be a better fit. Oh, gotcha. Gotta give those mechanical beauties some love. Now, what's the deal with those Swiss quartz movements you mentioned earlier? Are they worth the extra dough? Absolutely, bro. Swiss quartz movements are like the cream of the crop in terms of accuracy and reliability. Swiss watchmaking has this long-standing reputation for being top-notch. So if you're after the best of the best, a watch with a Swiss quartz movement will give you the extra peace of mind. Just be prepared to loosen up those purse strings a bit more. I see, I see. So when it comes to spotting a cheap watch, we gotta keep an eye on those movements. Quartz can be a hit or a miss, while mechanical movements bring that next-level watch experience. And if you're a real stickler for accuracy, those Swiss quartz movements are where it's at, right? You got it, dude. It's all about finding that sweet spot between quality and price when you're on the hunt for a watch that suits your style. All right, my friend, you're putting me in the hot seat now. Let's chat about how people sometimes see watches made by non-watch brands as cheap or low quality. What's your take on that? 
Well, dude, I can see where that perception comes from. When a brand isn't solely focused on making watches, it's, it's natural to have doubts about the quality. Watchmaking is a specialized craft, and brands that are all in on watches tend to have the knowledge and skills to make top-notch timepieces. Totally, man. Those dedicated watch brands put in serious effort with research, top-notch materials, and skilled watchmakers. They go all out to ensure their watches are nothing but the best. Right on, dude. And on the other hand, non-watch brands might use cheaper materials and less precise machinery. They can definitely affect the quality of the final product. Plus, without that laser focus on watches, they might not have the same attention to detail and quality control. You nailed it, bro. And let's not forget about after-sales support. Dedicated watch brands often offer warranties and spare parts, but non-watch brands might not have that same level of support. Absolutely, man. But here's the thing, right? There are exceptions to every rule. Some non-watch brands might surprise us with high-quality watches that can rival those made by the watchmaking pros. No doubt about it, dude. That's why it's crucial to do your homework and check out reviews before pulling the trigger. Non-watch brands might offer some attractive and affordable options, but it's worth digging deeper to make sure you're getting a solid timepiece. For sure, partner. At the end of the day, it's all about what you're looking for in a watch and what matters to you the most as a consumer, right? Everyone's got their own preferences and priorities. You said it, bro. So whether it's a dedicated watch brand or a non-watch brand, as long as you do your research and find something that speaks to you, you're golden. So, are there more things to consider in spotting a cheaply made watch? Alright bud, let's dive into another important aspect of spotting a cheaply made watch, the materials used. This can really tell you a lot about the watch's value and how long it's going to last. One thing to watch out for is the leather they use for the strap. Oh, totally man, cheap leather is a dead giveaway. It feels all fake and it won't hold up well. You'll see it peeling and cracking before you even know it. But genuine leather? Bro, that's the real deal. It's supple, it's got a natural grain, it feels awesome. And don't forget about that stitching on the strap. If that's too shoddy or too thin, that's a sign of low quality, right? Absolutely, dude. The strap is just the beginning. Let's not ignore the case. It feels cheap and flimsy. It's probably made with low quality materials or they didn't bother finishing it properly. You might find sharp edges or surfaces that are wonky. And trust me, a flimsy case won't protect the inner workings of the watch, bro. That's asking for trouble. No doubt, bro. Now, let's zoom in on the dial. Give it a good look. Any smudges, crooked printing or scratches are big red flags, yeah? It means that they weren't paying attention when they put the watch together. And you know what? that's a sign that it might not keep good time in the long run. Right on, man. And we can't forget about the glass they use. If it's some cheap mineral glass, it's going to scratch up real quick. You'll end up with a hazy mess on the surface. That's a clear sign that they've skimped on quality to save some bucks. Not cool, bro. <laughs> you got it, dude. The materials they use can totally give away a cheaply made watch. Crappy leather, a flimsy case, a messed up dial, or low-tier glass mineral. All of these are warning signs, yeah? So, when you're on the hunt for a watch, just keep an eye on the materials, for sure, to make sure that you're getting your money's worth. Absolutely, man. Don't fall for those flashy designs or tempting prices. A quality watch is an investment that should stick with you for years, so it's worth dishing out a bit more dough for one made with top-notch materials and a keen eye for detail. So, partner, I think another key factor to consider when determining the quality of a watch is its design, specifically if it's too generic, what are your thoughts on this? You hit the nail on the head, buddy. Buying a watch with a generic design not only risks poor quality and lack of customer support, but also raises ethical concerns. It's important to be mindful of the origin and production practices behind the watch we choose. Absolutely, partner. We should always aim to support brands that prioritize originality, craftsmanship and ethical manufacturing processes. These brands often invest in research and design and quality control to deliver watches that not only look good, but also stand the test of time. Totally agree, my friend. When you buy a watch, you're not just buying a timepiece, but also supporting a brand's values and practices. It's about finding a watch that reflects your style and aligns with your values. That's spot on, buddy. So, so the next time that you're looking out for a new watch, take a closer look at the design opt for something that stands out, showcases originality and represents a brand that you feel good about supporting. Absolutely, partner. Don't settle for generic knockoffs or cheap imitations. Invest in a watch that speaks to your personal style, reflects quality craftsmanship and is backed by a brand that shares your values. That way, you'll not only have a timepiece you love, but also a story worth sharing. Well said, my friend. It's all about finding that perfect watch that not only tells you the time, but tells you a story. 
So keep an eye out for those unique designs and brands that go the extra mile to create something special. Couldn't have said it better, buddy. Cheers to finding the perfect watch that ticks all the boxes and makes a statement on your wrist. So to sum it up, when it comes to generic-looking watches found on dropshipping sites like Alibaba or Amazon, it's essential to consider a variety of factors, including the quality of materials, build quality, customer support, and ethical concerns. Ultimately, if you're looking for a high-quality and ethical watch, it's worth investing in a reputable brand with a proven track record of producing quality watches. You said it. And with that, guys, that's it for this episode. We hope that we've helped you in looking for a watch that you deserve. Remember, cheap watches are great, but they're not a great deal most of the time. Want to hear more about watches? Hit the subscribe button below to support the Steady Ticker channel. And click the notification bell to instantly know about our new videos on luxury watches. See you in the next one.